Silent Hill is a town where pure evil permeates the air, the soil, and eventually consumes the people. Each of the previous titles in the Silent Hill series of horror games has either outright taken place in the titular small town, or has gradually been pulled there through some terrible inertia. Silent Hill 4 The Room breaks this trend as it takes place in the neighboring city of South Ashfield, centering mainly on an ill-fated apartment building, a cursed apartment, and the man who lives in it. The unfortunate hero of Silent Hill 4 is Henry Townsend. One night, Henry begins to experience intense recurring nightmares and terrible headaches concurrent with his apartment apparently becoming cursed. His phone is dead, his neighbors can't hear him when he calls, his windows are sealed, and his door is blocked as well. Scrawled in red on the door's interior is a note that only says, Don't go out, Walter. While exploring the confines of his apartment, Henry discovers a ragged, man-sized hole in his bathroom wall. Faced with a dearth of other options, Henry crawls through the strange portal, hoping to find an escape route. What he finds instead will lead him on a convoluted journey that will reveal the sordid past of his apartment, room 302. Silent Hill 4 encompasses two gameplay modes, a first-person mode that you'll use to guide Henry around his apartment, and a third-person mode that you'll use to explore the alternate worlds Henry will visit by entering portals. While in room 302 and in first person, you'll use the left analog stick to move around and the right analog stick to look around wherever you like. The apartment itself gradually changes over time, making repeated peeks at various objects in your room worthwhile. In fact, room 302's degradation as the game progresses is an integral part of Silent Hill 4's experience, as new information slowly comes to light and things become decidedly more sinister. The more traditional third-person action sections of Silent Hill 4 take place in various dreamlike alternate worlds you'll reach by squeezing through one of room 302's portals. You'll explore the environment of a subway, a forest cult compound, a hospital, and more as you move on picking up a number of different weapons, a healing items, keys, and other useful knickknacks. Something you'll notice very quickly is that you've got a limit on the number of items you can carry at one time. Furthermore, items don't stack. Want to carry two healing drinks of the same type? They each take up a separate space. You can't discard items either. Silent Hill 4 sports some creepy looking monsters that attempt to foil you at every turn. Unlike previous Silent Hill games in which fighting ultimately could be said to take a back seat, Silent Hill 4 throws enemies at you sometimes in great numbers, forcing you to engage in lots of combat. While avoiding enemies remains an option, it's increasingly difficult to pull off due to the fact that you've got what oftentimes seems like narrow spaces to explore, multiple enemies to fight, and aggressive artificial intelligence to deal with, which can make blitzing through environments a rather health-costly event. Your fighting abilities, meanwhile, are rudimentary. You can choose from a selection of melee weapons or a very small number of firearms. Henry will aim automatically at whatever happens to be closest at the time, and you can execute a jump dodge move to try and avoid incoming attacks. When you manage to get an enemy down, you'll have to stomp on it to ensure that it stays dead, which ends up making combat seem like a bug-crushing simulation more than anything. Some of the enemies in the game are unsettled ghosts that float around and don't even have to attack you to cause damage. When a ghost appears, you'll hear a high-pitched static whine, and your screen will start to turn red and become grainy. If you just stand around doing nothing, Henry will clutch at his temples and his health will begin to drain. Additionally, ghosts cannot be killed permanently without a special item to actually impale them to the floor, so you'll be trying to avoid most of them anyway. For all the mobs of enemies and constant item ferrying, the game takes about 10 hours to complete on the normal difficulty. There are four endings you might receive based on a combination of what condition your apartment is in by the end of the game and how the character you had to escort about has fared. The PlayStation 2 and Xbox versions of the game control and play virtually identically. The Xbox version has a slight edge in graphical clarity as the visuals are slightly sharper and the detail and depth is very slightly richer. Aside from that extra bit of polish, the experience is the same on both consoles. Silent Hill 4 looks its best in corroded, bloody, gritty environments like the damp steel halls of the water prison or the subterranean subway layers that at one point in the game are walled in living, moving flesh. The characters in the game are often very well detailed facially, though their movement sometimes seems somewhat stilted. The room itself sees some great effects, from the warping of a small section of paint in the shape of a face to a cluster of wailing demon children plastered to a wall, to a spirit crawling out of a dark, dripping portal. The creatures in Silent Hill 4 all have their own distinct calls, footfalls, and death rattles, 
and the environments are peppered with nice ambient effects like dripping water and gusting wind. The voice work in the game is uninspired but solid, with the exception of Henry himself, who has an unbelievably dry delivery for all his lines, no matter what's going on around him. Meanwhile, the haunting main theme of the game is one of the only pieces of music you're going to hear. Silent Hill 4 The Room is an interesting sequel. It attempts to branch out in several areas of gameplay and setting, while remaining true to the psychological thriller style that's always set the Silent Hill series apart for more action-oriented scares. While not all of the changes made necessarily serve to enhance the series, the dark, gripping storytelling is what allows this game to earn its Silent Hill credentials. If you're an existing horror fan or a Silent Hill fan, Silent Hill 4 The Room is certainly worth looking at, if not a purchase, at the very least a rental.